let's try sketching this graph. First, can we simplify this at all? To factorise the top, I need two numbers that add to 4 and multiply to negative 13. Well, I'm not going to work that out easily and quickly um, because 13 is prime. So let me see if I can complete the square to simplify that. Now uh, let's have a look. x squared plus 4x minus 13. Um, that's x squared plus 2 times 2x a squared plus 2ab plus b squared, then we'll have to be 2 squared. Take away 2 squared, take away the 13 I already had. So that's x plus 2 squared. That's 4 take 13 is 17. So x plus 2 squared pardon me, is 17. So x plus 2 plus or minus root 17 and x is 2 no sorry negative 2 plus or minus root 17 now root 17 is just a little bit bigger than 4 and it really is just a little bit um, root 16 root 25 would be 4 and then 5 so this is just a bit more than 4 so that means x is approximately negative 2 take away 4 and a bit is negative 6 and a little bit or negative 2 plus 4 and a bit is positive 2 point a little something. So this tells me where the top would be equal to 0 and, and the top will actually be 0 at these points but I don't have exact values if I'm doing this without technology. Nevertheless I can still make a reasonable sketch so let's try ideas. Intercepts. For the y-intercept, set x equal to 0. I'm going to get y is 0 plus 0 minus 13 over 0 minus 3. Well, that's 13 on 3, and I probably want that in... Um, mixed number form. Um, 13 divided by 12 divided by 3 is 4, so that's 4 and a third. That'll help me to sketch it. For the x-intercept, I'm going to be using this. For x-intercept, set my y equal to 0. Well, that's the function I had x squared plus 4x minus 13 over x minus 3. If I'm equal to 0, I don't care what's on the bottom. I only want what's on the top. And I already solved this equation up here. And I got this. x is negative uh, 2 plus or minus root 17, i.e approximately negative six point something small or two point something small and that'll be good enough for me to sketch discontinuities my graph is discontinuous where the bottom is zero discontinuous discontinuous where x minus 3 is 0, i.e. x equals 3. So that's going to be a vertical asymptote. Extremities. Now this is where the fun starts. As x approaches plus or minus infinity, what's going to happen to my graph. Now, the easiest way to work it out is actually to turn this essentially an improper fraction into a mixed number. The whole part, which I don't really be whole, it's whole, it's going to, still going to have an x in it, will give me the linear asymptote and the remainder will be essentially negligible compared to that. So let's try. 
I have to divide, I have to divide x squared plus 4x minus 13 by x minus 3. x goes into x squared x times, x times x is x squared minus x times 3 is 3x. Subtract. Um, x squared take x squared is nothing, it's what I wanted. 4 minus negative 3 is 4 plus 3 is 7x. Bring down the minus 13. x goes into 7x 7 times. That's 7x. x times 3 is 21. Subtract. That goes away, it's what I wanted. Negative 13 minus negative 21 is negative 13 plus 21 is 7. No, it's not. I can't add up. It's 8. I was getting confused thinking that was 14. It's 8. Sorry about that. Okay. So that means my y fraction, which was x squared plus 4x minus 13 over x minus 3, is the same as this quotient, x plus 7, and this remainder over x minus 3. Now, the reason we give you all that practice and writing it like this is because now, as x gets very big, I'm going to have this. And as x gets very big, this part is going to come basically zero. I'm adding something that's going to get closer and closer and closer to zero. So this is my asymptote. Therefore, no, it's not a horizontal. It's not horizontal at all. There is an asymptote as y equals x plus 7 as x gets very large, positive or negative. OK, that was extremities. What about asymptotes? Well, the only remaining question is, does my graph of my function ever cross this linear asymptote? And the answer is no. Have a look at this equation here. Y will never actually equal this because it will always have this added on. And this thing I'm adding on will never be zero because it's got a constant 8 on the top. So my y will never actually equal x plus 7. It'll always be x plus 7 and a little bit. Now, the further out I go, the littler this little bit gets, but it will never be zero. In the middle of the graph, it will never, ever be zero. So it will never cross that asymptote. Only horizontal asymptotes will be crossed, not these linear ones in this case. Um, Stationary point special points. Uh, why don't we try sketching it and then deciding whether we need to know any other particular values. Let's have a go.